Rush Limbaugh is angry that the Department of Justice is going to do an investigation into the abuse of the Baltimore PD. So listen to him bitch about it. And he's just gotten started, folks. He's still got 22, 21 months left. And the premise behind all of this is that local police departments are incompetent. And local police departments are the reason so many young African-American men are in jail. And Obama wants to restrain the police department presence. He wants to de-emphasize it. I mean, that's the, the, the real reason is for chaos. The stated reason is they happen to believe that a vivid police department presence is intimidating and uh, provocative and leads to unrest. Because in the Obama administration, in the liberal view, just like the U.S. military is the focus of evil in our foreign policy, the U.S. military provokes action against the U.S. like the prison Guantanamo Bay creates terrorism rather than incarcerates terrorists. Well, they by the same token believe that domestic police departments create crime. They believe that domestic police departments are the primary reason or a leading factor in a high crime rate and the unfair incarceration rate of young African-American men. This idea of like, well, we shouldn't look into the, the Baltimore Police Department, which is what he's getting at there. That's why he's bitching. That's why he's angry. He's like, how could they look into the Baltimore PD? They're such, they're such angels. I don't understand this. Well, maybe because there's been endless reports ab about the abuses thus far by the media. I mean, for example, we learned that there are three people who died because their spines were severed when the Baltimore PD took them on what's called rough rides. So in other words, they, put, they handcuffed them behind their back, and then they start taking hard, uh, hard turns, and uh, you start going fast, and people bounce all around in the back of the police van, and three times somebody's fucking spine was severed as a result of it. That's a pattern. That's a trend. You don't think that's something worthy of investigation? You don't think just based off the Freddie Gray video itself that that's something worthy of investigation? Of course that's something worthy of investigation. Rush, there was just a, a Justice Department report released on the Chicago PD, and we learned that they have torture chambers. Torture chambers. So how can he's... But that's the thing about Rush Limbaugh. He's... He's beyond gone. He's off the plane of what's, like, r respectable and legitimate. Because what he's saying is, don't even look into whether or not there are abuses. It's not like he's saying, well, do the report, and I bet there aren't going to be abuses. He's saying, don't even do the report, don't even investigate them, because it's not worth it, because the cops, by definition, are good. And that's the irony of what he was saying about liberals there. Is that he's making this caricature of liberals. Like, oh, liberals, they think that America is always to blame, and they think that the police are always to blame. But in reality, who has the beliefs that can easily be caricatured? Rush Limbaugh. Because his, his stance is the polar opposite. The cops are always right, and America is always right. <laughs> Especially when it comes to foreign policy. He was mocking the idea that American foreign policy might create more terrorists. But Rush, that's a, that's a fact! That's been proven. We've covered the studies on this show before. There's been a net increase in terrorists since we declared the war on terror. It turns out when you invade Iraq and kill over 200,000 civilians, there's going to be resentment towards America, and you're going to make people want to join Al-Qaeda and the Taliban and other jihadist organizations. It, the point is not to blame America. The point is for us to fix our policy so that we stop contributing to the problem. That's the main issue here. But he, he laughs at that. He laughs at the idea that maybe Guantanamo Bay uh, created more terrorists. Again, Rush, how many stories have we done where people who became radicalized mention that? They say, look, I was just a normal person living in Syria or living wherever, and then I saw what was happening with the Iraq war, and I saw that, uh, you know, all these Muslims were being tortured, the pictures from Abu Ghraib, and now I wanted to stand up against the great Satan that is America. This idea that, like... That doesn't exist. No, no, no. It's never... America never screws up with our foreign policy and uh, does something so incompetent that we create more, more terrorists. It's never that. It's, it's always, America is right by definition, the cops are right by definition. And like you heard him say at the beginning there, mocking the idea that, uh, 
you know, the, the real reason blacks are in jail at a higher rate is abusive local police. Again, Rush, it is because they're enforcing the stupid drug laws and they're enforcing, enforcing them disproportionately against minority communities. You do not see cops patrolling Wall Street and locking people up for the cocaine in their pocket. But you do see them doing stops and frisks of black people and minorities in poor neighborhoods. So Rush Limbaugh, in classic fashion, making an ass of himself. And finally, I don't know if you heard it there in the middle, but he, he, he said, that's the point, is that Obama wants chaos. Obama wants riots. Obama wants uh, unrest. I know, Rush, because it can't just be that you disagree with liberals. It also has to be that we're nefarious and evil and like comic book villains who literally uh, want to see chaos in the streets. Why? Because they're just liberals. That's what they want. They're that evil. They're that bad.